You're watching a special edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what's new in cosmetic dentistry? With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Leonard Smith. Dr. Smith, welcome back to the program. <clears throat> well, thank you, Randy, and thank you for inviting me to come back. Now, before we get into today's topic, tell me a little bit about, uh, for those who don't know you, uh, mm -hmm. who your typical patient is. What, what type of procedures do you do? Well, I see really anyone that you could think of. And uh, of course, I'm in Silicon Valley. We have a lot of engineers, but I have nurses, I have doctors, we have airline people, uh, we have uh, people of all walks of life, absolutely. Now, you do dental implants, you do I, uh, <clears throat> cosmetic dentistry. I've become known in the region as a cosmetic dentist, and uh, this encompasses all phases that you could think of that you see on TV shows like extreme makeover. Dental implants is a real specialty that I got into at the inception many years ago and I do a tremendous amount of treatment because the fact is that these uh, people watching out there uh, need to have a clear choice in their health care needs and their provider and the fact is that many people have to go to two or three different specialists. You do everything under one roof. And I do everything under so one roof. you do the roof. surgery? Absolutely. Do, okay. Yeah. Interesting. And, and it makes it, it's so convenient and when the, the people, the folks come in and they meet somebody that they really like, then they don't have to go through the uncomfortable situation of, oh, you mean I've got to go there? Oh, I've okay. got to go there? Because people still don't like going to the dentist. Is they that don't. Right? Is that Absol true? Absolutely true. But they true. like going to you, you say. Well, they do. And, and uh, <laughs> because fun over I can do all those, those procedures, uh, we become friends with the patients, we treat them the way we want to be treated. The fact is that uh, if I was going to go to a dentist, I would want to find somebody like myself. Now, in a recession. <clears throat> Interesting thing you told me on the telephone. Randy, yes. sure bet is to invest in yourself. Expand oh, on that. Oh, absolutely. Well, the fact is, that for one thing, dentistry is one commodity that's never going to get less expensive. And when you have patients or people out in the, the workforce that are looking for new jobs, looking your best is going to be the one area that you can control. You can make that employer want you because you're gonna feel better about yourself if you have health, function, and beauty of your mouth. All right, you say people become more confident. That means if you change their smile, oh, I'll quote you exactly, you change their life. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let me give you an example. Okay. I was in the grocery store the other day and I was going through the quick line, you know, and uh, uh, this woman, the cashier, I thought, geez, she's in a bad mood today and I was watching how <laughs> she interacts with people. Okay. And then when I finally got up to her and, and she, I mean, she hasn't looked me in the eye, she, she keeps looking down, she, her lips are tight, she just looks angry, upset, or, or just sad. Okay. And the fact is that I made a point <laughs> to say to her, thank you for your service, you really helped me today. She looked at me, she was surprised, and she smiled, and my God, were her teeth not good. Her whole life revolves around her teeth and her poor smile and her poor image of herself. Now, that can be the same person working in an, any other industry. It can be an engineer, it can be a, a waitress, a waiter, uh, it can be anybody in the service industry. And So they're ashamed of their smile. They, must, they can fight in you on the console. Absolutely. These things. I always say it's not about the teeth. Now, the teeth can fix a lot of issues, but it's not about the teeth. What do you mean by that? I mean that the fact is that people know that there's something that's just not right for them. They don't feel real good or upbeat about themselves when they go into a room. They don't really go in and look forward to being greeted by other people because they're kind of embarrassed by the way they look. Sometimes they put their hand over their mouth. Sometimes they just won't smile. We have to retrain people to smile. I swear to God. So you see, uh, you know, changes in their self-esteem. Oh, it's it's like night and day. Really? It is wonderful. These people, and when I show new patients the befores and afters, they say, oh, well, you just did makeup and more and they look better. But I say, no, that isn't it. These people are smiling. They feel good about themselves and they feel good about going out into the public in any setting, whether it's personal, whether it's business. So it's not just for the wealthy, rich and famous anymore. I mean, it's no, become mainstream. I, I, think, I think we've established that years ago. The fact is that uh, I have school teachers, uh, I have bus drivers. Do people tend to, to do this uh, for a special occasion, fix their teeth? Oh, absolutely. Like I say, we, we get all types of people for all different reasons. But let me give you some just typical reasons. It's I, my population of patients is 40 to 70 years old, 80 years old. 
Some of them are going to a reunion. Some of them are going to their 60th reunion, right. you know. But some of them are the mothers of the bride. Some of them are the bride. They want to look good in pictures. They want to look good in pictures. Some of them are going out into the job market. Uh, some of them, unfortunately, have been divorced. And, uh, you know, that's a reality. They're dating again. They're dating again. And they want pretty, healthy, vibrant, young-looking teeth. And it is really true. And you're a dentist. Of course you think the smile is important, though. Well, I'll let you be the judge of this case now. Here's a oh, very okay. here's here's a very pretty woman, and oh, here's boy. a before, and she's an attorney, and the fact is that she's had these teeth all of her life. Now, I talk to her extensively, the way I do with all my patients, because I get into the real reasons that they're in the office. So what'd she say? She said that I just don't smile. I put my hand over my mouth. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel about good about the way the teeth look and can you help me well after the patient tells me why they're in the office and what's really bothering them and I ask a lot of probing questions because a lot of them are very emotional issues they're not just the physical issues of the teeth okay and they but they've been created by the teeth so as you can see here this is a pretty severe malocclusion or poor bite crooked teeth that this lady's had very yellow teeth she's had that all her life she didn't smile? She doesn't smile. So she, she says that to you? Oh, absolutely. On the console, absolutely. Really? And she's very emotional about it. She was very, which is, means that she's very honest and very open so that I can get down to the details of what I can really do for her, how I need to go about this. So, so when you see this, by the <clears throat> way, patients in front of you, in your okay. mind, do you go, wow, I. This would be a great case. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, know, I know where I'm going before they do, but the fact is that I have to know why they're there so that I can customize this treatment for their needs, desires, their wants. So what we did was what we termed full mouth reconstruction. This is ceramic treatment. This is veneers and we had to do all of her upper teeth and we did all of her lower teeth so that her bite meshes very well which gives the longevity of the treatment. That's why it will last. And the ceramic treatment, the veneers, will give the beauty that she wants. So let's take a look at this uh, after wow. here. Now, does it look like the same person almost? No, it doesn't. And these people light up. I mean, this is an emotional issue. So let me tell you what happened after the fact with this. This uh, nice lady uh, emailed me pretty much weekly, if not every day, for the first two or three months. I mean, this is like changed her life. Every morning she gets up, she's brushing her teeth, she's smiling, she's loving it, she's looking forward to going out into the world. She's making new relationships. She's more confident in her Just business Just because of place. her teeth. Just because of her teeth. Now, she was down, she travels, and so she was down south. I'm in, you know, North California. She's in L.A. A man, a businessman, came across the concourse, and she saw him coming after She's at the her, airport. And she's at the airport at her gate, and a man's coming across, and she saw this man, and he kept this direct line towards her. He comes up, and he looks at her, and he says, I just had to come over here and say to you, you have a beautiful smile. Now, now, you saw the before picture. Do you think that that ever happened before in her life? In the after, she, she looks healthier. I think anybody oh. looking at this would agree. She looks younger, and she, but she also looks more refined or sophisticated. Uh, all of just those. Just because of her teeth. All of Very those nice. things. And that's why I say it's just not the teeth. Their whole persona changes. More and confidence. Absolutely more confident, happier. I mean, we're talking emotional Is happiness. It, by the way, when these patients look at their mouths for the first time in that mirror, yes, is yeah. it? Can it be emotional? Oh, it's very emotional, and that's why I say it brings tears to their eyes. It brings tears to my eyes. This is good stuff. We're going to take a quick break. We come back. Uh, I know you brought a stack of before and after photos. We're going to show those or get yes. as many as possible. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Up next, uh, extreme makeovers. If you're not happy with your smile, you have to see this next segment. We'll be right back.